Hi everyone, welcome again, welcome back to Billions TV, it's me, your man Idris, and today I'm recording a video called How Foreigners Survive in Berlin. Some foreigners will describe their living in Berlin as living and some will describe it as surviving, but if you really want to know if it's living or surviving, and this is the right video for you. And now we are going to take the camera into the street, but before we take the camera into the street, please don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to press the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video and a new content. So now, let's take it to the street. Hi, my name is Martin. Um, I'm British born, but I've been living here in Berlin for the past uh, six years. I also lived here for two years previously, so eight years in total. Um, yeah. Okay, I think that you, uh, you have to have a thick skin to survive in Berlin as a foreigner, if I'm honest. Um, a lot of people kind of build networks with other people so um, one thing that I find is I'm, I'm British and I find a lot of Brits sticking together you know there's an expat community that stick together because they they, they understand the culture they understand each other's ways um, but living in Berlin generally you have to have a thick skin because sometimes people can come across particularly local people can come across sometimes a bit abrupt they have this thing called the Berliner Schnauzer which is a uh, yeah, that, that, that a Berliner's bark is worse than their bite, um, but they can come across quite sharp and harsh at the beginning, and it can be quite unsettling as a foreigner if you don't understand this, you don't really know what they're about. Um, but actually, when you get to know Berliners, you find out that they're some of the kindest people and the most loyal people uh, that you can meet, but it takes a while. I've been back here for six years, and uh, yeah, it, it, it takes a while. You need to understand it. I think it's also about not being not being afraid of, 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 of people. Um, people here generally will, will tell you what they think, they will speak back to you, they will tell you if you, they see you doing something that they think is uh, either not fair or something illegal or whatever, that, that they're not frightened to, to, to tell you. But also I think it's important as a foreigner not to be frightened to answer back um, or to give your opinion back. And that takes some time. That's something that I think all foreigners have to learn. Um, and in that respect, with the, the Bürgeram and the, the, the various different government uh, uh, departments, um, you also have to go in there quite confidently. I think at the beginning when I moved back to Berlin, I was quite sort of nervous and I went in with limited German. And then the reception that you receive isn't the most positive or friendly. Um, but then later I've realised that with, with greater confidence and better German, that I've also been received more felt like I was received more in a more welcome way um, by people in these departments and things. So I think it's about just kind of holding your shoulders high and, and, uh, and being confident. And hopefully with that comes, you know, you, you build some survival techniques, let's say. But you also build a network. That's also important. You need a network to build with people that you know, that you trust. When I got my first apartment here, I took a German friend with me. She. Uh, she and I kind of pretended to be a couple, so she spoke in German to the guy, and we kind of played it so that you know um, we could uh, we could get that apartment, and I did. Um, so there are little tools and things you need to do to to get ahead. I think that Berlin is expanding and developing very quickly, and more and more people are moving to the city. Um, and I think that Berlin doesn't at the moment necessarily have the infrastructure to deal with the amount of people that are moving here from overseas. Um, a lot of things need to change really. The biggest thing is bureaucracy, a lot of things need to move online, a lot of things need to become more digital. It's still impossible in parts of Berlin to pay for something with a card. Um, you have to pay in cash. There's no other city in Western Europe where you have to pay with cash and where they want you to pay with cash. And you come back here and it's like going back in time. Um, and that's what bureaucracy feels like as well when you go to a government office. Um, you almost feel like you went back in time by about 50 years. They have papers and filing cabinets and uh, they stamp things and send you to someone else who stamps something else. And having lived in other countries in Western Europe and other places around the world, that isn't how it, how it is at all. I've lived in the Middle East and in the Middle East things were further ahead in terms of the banking systems and government systems than they are here. 
Um, so I think that's something that perhaps yeah, definitely needs to change. Hi everyone, my name is Daria. I live in Berlin for almost five years now. Uh, I'm 38 years old and I used to work as a project manager and currently in freelance. Before I used to work in some uh, German companies for more than three years. Also, I took in part in We Are Believers podcast with my partner, Horace P. Monroe. Uh, we are speaking about communication. We discuss how to make communication with other people in our, in our life easier and more clear for us. Currently, it's fine. Currently, so you know, I, I we how um, I got adapted to this system. I got adapted to these people, even if I was couple times in Auslandbrich order, so in um, in place where I need to change my visa uh, and so on. And I understood uh, how it works, and I can speak already in this language because you know to live in Berlin, to live in Germany, and not communicate with all these burger arms and all the social system, it's not possible. This is why, you know, at the moment it's really fine. I know how to be. You know, you meet, you need to be just aggressive, a little bit rude, and you know, and same moment nice. It's you know, I can't, I cannot explain, but it's quite funny you you have to change your personality before you walk in some department I would not say that I survive I will not describe my life as surviving uh, I would say I'm living in Berlin I'm enjoying to live in Berlin I'm, you know, it's like a position. I can say, yeah, everything is only complicated, I will survive, but it's not. I just took it easy in some moment in my life. I took it easy and said, ah, whatever. And I decided, now it's, I am here. Now I try to learn German. I try to be more part of the social and change my position from survivor to, to be Berliner. From beginning, it was only a beginning when I thought, yeah, the society just don't want to take me in, in their arms, you know, the something I was feeling something like they refuse me and they don't want that I will be there and so on. But it was, you know, what I understand that it was in my hand, head because it's different, um, different mentality. I just didn't know this mentality and once I got to know this mentality closer and better and I met, uh, I speak now with Germans, you know, we are in Germany, I speak about Germans and German mentality is just different. If, uh, mm, it's the same, like in, in my, it just was in my head, once I switch it to, yeah, I, I just will go and try to understand what these people want why these people not, e not even smile to me, why people react like they react on me. And you know, my life was changing. Hi, my name is Shalomita. Uh, I come from Indonesia and I've been living in Berlin for one and a half years. Uh, so far, uh, in my wonderment, it has actually been uh, like a nice experience, like the people are actually very helpful. I don't know with other people's experiences, but uh, it is also very stressful in terms of, uh, you know, uh, including all the requirements and stuff like that. say that I uh, reach out to people that I am close uh, or around me, for example like my classmates, my flatmate, 
and then also like uh, get to know like international communities which also, of course like we have the same uh, experiences so yeah that's how I survive I would say. Uh, I don't know about German system because I heard that Berlin is actually not Germany. <laughs> I heard, I don't know, I'm, I'm not the one who say it, but uh, so far I really like Berlin. Of course there are some underlying layers of, you know, everything that uh, you already uh, have seen in Western countries, such as, of course there's racism, discrimination, but uh, I think for me it's still bearable. Um, I still have international friends, but I would say that it's an international bubble, so yeah. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Natalie. I am Russian, living in Berlin for the last two years. I am a journalist, video producer, visual artist uh, and model. So the first thing is uh, that I am I am working as a video producer. So I'm making music videos for different artists. Also, uh, I am doing visual art, some visual installations, audiovisual lives, all these things. And uh, sometimes I work I work as a model, like I'm signed to Viva Models Agency. And also right now I'm doing brand new thing for me. So like. I started to build a platform for young artists living in Berlin uh, and I am organizing events uh, showing like uh, multidisciplinary art, so performances, live acts, uh, art exhibitions and so on. And so my goal is to promote emerging art. Not really, because uh, people in Berlin are really open to really friendly. Uh, they come here from all over the world and uh, so we respect each other. We are all different, but we are all friends. That's what I, I'm thinking I think about Berlin society. Hello, my name is Hollis P. Monroe. Uh, I'm a music producer and a DJ. I'm from America. I've uh, lived in Berlin for just about four years. Um, I have a YouTube channel called Hollis Talks, and I also do a podcast with Daria. Um, <laughs> it's called We Are Believers, and we talk about uh, interactions with people and, and dealing with uh, life and the challenges of Um, when I have to deal with the government agencies, I basically take someone with me that speaks the language, that can translate for me. Um, I think this is the best way to deal with it because uh, they aren't necessarily the most patient folks. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's, there's no fun there. It's, it's always serious business, so it's always better to take someone that understands that and can speak for you. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call it surviving. I don't believe in that kind of thought process. Um, I live in Berlin um, the same way I would live anywhere else. I try to respect the culture, respect the people, and try to make sure that people respect me. And um, I, if I encounter some sort of situation that I don't think is desirable, I avoid it. Um, and that's the best I find this the best way to maneuver. Um, I would say it wasn't too hard for me to integrate here. I was fortunate enough to have made some music that's gotten me some recognition here in this 
in this country, so people, at least in the in the scenes and the environments that I'm mainly traveling, people know who I am for the most part, or know at least some of my music. And I think this opens a lot of doors for me, and and it makes people be a little bit nicer to me in general. So. So hello, my name is Lali, and I come from France. I live in Berlin since six years. Terrible, it's a nightmare. Um, I really hate administration at the basis, but there is something very which makes people probably anxious related to legal problems, to official money you can get or you can give, or things like this, and taxes. So, yeah, very anxious also because of German. I speak a bit of German, basic one, but not fluent, so it's always a problem because Germans don't like the foreigners to speak a perfect German. From the mountains, uh, I would say I'm living because I'm lucky and I, I never really lack of anything. But it really depends on the mountains. I would say the great point in Berlin is that there is lots of people awakened. I would say, and you can make exchange of services. So nothing is legal. A lot of things when I earn money or I do this type of things, it's not legal from the society, but I don't care. But this is the great point. You can exchange, for example, I don't know if you, I, I would give a yoga class and the person would give me a service and things like this. Or, yeah, it's a lot of nice alternatives like this in this city. Hi, my name is Christina. I've been living in Berlin for the past 11 years. I come from Romania. So, as I've mentioned earlier, also the, the language barrier is quite quite big. However, what I've noticed in the past years is that uh, the government institutions have modernized, and now you can actually find a couple of English-speaking uh, officers. So it's gotten a lot better since, for instance, 2011 when I arrived. survive by... Uh, it depends on how you portray your life in Berlin. Are you going to be here to create, to, to pursue a career? Are you here just to have some fun? Is the city is offering you basically anything that you would want from these two worlds, and let's say from these two extremes, right? So it depends on you to first decide what you want to do and then in terms of how to make it in Berlin it's all about the people that you know Hi I'm Steve, I'm 40, from the UK uh, lived in Berlin for a total of seven years but I'm just returning after five years away back in Britain and here I am again Um, it's difficult. Um, hopefully you get one of the nicer people, one of the nicer arbeiters there, one of the nicer workers. Um, sometimes it can be really demoralising. Um, I have yet to fully do it since returning in the Covid era, which I understand there's more online things now. This is something I'm going to be doing in the next few days. Um, but usually I do it with the help of a German friend or someone who speaks like really good bureaucratic German. I think that really depends where you come from as well. I don't know, I mean obviously I can only speak from the perspective of like, you know, a white British guy who's living here. 
Um, when I first got here, I mostly survived by working in cafes and bars, which is actually a really good way of learning German. Um, so I can actually speak quite good German, but I can't write it and I can't do it. The grammar is very well because I was never good at that, but yeah. Um, gastronomy is a big one for people here. Um, of course, then there's the uh, Schwarzarbeit as well, for some people. So, thank you very much, thank you very much for watching this video. As you can see, everyone has split out their opinion about living in Berlin and also living in Germany as a foreigner because we all have like a different picture about that and I think there is some adjustment that can be made and which can make life for more foreigners much easier in Berlin and in Germany. And so that's the main reason why we record this video. And I also hope you really enjoyed the video and if you do enjoy the video, Please don't forget to press the subscribe button and also press the notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video and a new content. And until next time, auf Wiedersehen.